We're going to look here at the creation of an NDVI or Normalised Difference Vegetation Index image using a Landsat image as an input. It's quite simple to do. In the MV main menu, just go up to Transform and down to NDVI. It asks us what the input file is, which is going to be our radiometrically corrected Landsat image, the dark pixel subtraction there, and OK. And if we look at the input file type, we've got a couple of different options as defaults. We use the Landsat TM one, which means that it automatically recognises that the red band should be band number three or layer three, and the near infrared band should be band four. We're going to choose an output file name and just add in NDVI there, and we'll leave floating point as our output data type. Just bring up what that's what that's actually produced now. If we load that to a new display, we can see in the scroll up here on the right hand side, we get a grayscale image where we've got white areas have high NDVI values. And if we look at the cursor value here, you can see the values here move, changing as I move my cursor over the image. And then we have areas where there's a low NDVI, in this case we've got negative 0.45, we have the image looking black. Now sometimes it's not that great to look at a, a, a grayscale or a black and white image just in terms of analysing it and, and interpreting it, so what we often do is to just change the colour assignment. So if we want to go to Tools and Colour Mapping and then if we go to Envy Colour Tables, what we can do is just change this and given that we're looking at vegetation here, we might um, have a look at the, the green to white. Um, now what we want is if we have our NDVI high values, they're our, um, our higher vegetation or denser vegetation areas as the, they have the high NDVI, so we'd probably like those to be a darker green, so we'll just actually swap these values over here, so we'll just invert that. So the greener an area is in the image, the higher the vegetation value is. Um, and now we see in some areas this becomes actually quite saturated. As you can see, obviously you've got the land versus the water here, but we want to see a little bit more distinction between vegetated areas. So we can always go to Enhance, for example, and choose any one of those stretches that are available there. So I might have a look at the linear 2% image there, and I can automatically see what areas um, have the higher amounts of vegetation in the dark colours here. So again we'll have a look at the cursor value and we're looking at these dark green areas having a relatively high NDVI value, remembering that's going from minus one to plus one, um, and areas here which have the lower value and so that's probably a cleared land spot. It's also useful if you open up the, um, the original image in another display group next to it and we can link those two viewers and it helps us to understand a little bit more about what, what's going on in the NDVI there. So if I link my two displays and navigate around an area of the image here you can start to see what those values are actually meaning in terms of the NDVI. So if we look this area here where I've, where I've got the I'll move the red box over for example, we've got some areas that look like mangroves perhaps and they're very dark in the corresponding NDVI image and you can see it as I flicker one, one to the other. So that's the best way to have a look at the NDVI and try and understand a little bit about what values are associated with it. Um, as you move your cursor over different areas, so I might move over a water body for example, if we come out here and you can see what values are associated with water there. You can also see what values are associated with mangroves, for example, and then perhaps if we want to find an area of um, perhaps some burnt, veget burnt ground, we'll have a look at what the NDVI values are there. So I'm using the, the original Landsat image to help me navigate around because I can interpret features a little bit easier there. And so we can see again what the NDVI value is. As it says in the cursor location value, the display number one is the NDVI and display number two is our color